everyone in today's video i'm going to show you how to rotate or change the angle of an object while you are actually arraying it on a path i already done a video a couple of months ago about how to array an object along a path and i got one of uh, my my dearest subscriber patrick k1028 asking if it's possible to array a different object in, in and i was answering that question and also he has actually wondering if it's able to change the angle like path and array in AutoCAD it sounds interesting for me and I told him I'm gonna answer so here we go uh, Patrick um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna answer this uh, question so first I'm gonna redefine I have a redefine the whole thing redefine the whole array along a path and then I'm gonna show you how to do the rotation it's basically a two part of uh, ascriptions for one of them just to repeat the array along the path and the second is to allow the rotation uh, probably I'm gonna go and uh, you know do the do the do the whole array thing in a different way rather than the one that I did before and probably in this one uh, it's gonna just uh, you know have a different let's say it's have a different method on on the one that we, we've done before so this is a select select path uh, select model element and in it I'm just gonna select the the curve and when you do just just you do that as you can see that the element is have a, a presentation here in Dynamo and now we need you need to to get the element dot element curve so we actually need to get the curve out of that element Some lagging for no reason. Yep. So this will get us the actual dynamo curve out of the curve that we got from the model and it's already been defined as an arc. So I need a curve now, start point, and I need an end point. So that's the start point of the curve, and I need the end point of the curve here. And also, I need a curve to be. Uh, a, I need to define a point at equal segments of that curve. So we simply def divide the curve into uh, pieces, and the default here is ten. And I don't want the default, so I need to use actually to give us uh, the, the amount of uh, numbers of an object that goes along the path so I'm gonna go a slider an integer one so it's gonna give it constant numbers and I'm just gonna connect this but before if, let me just give it like a, a three or let's say five elements this is the this is the number of copies so if you do that you're gonna see that it's not the thing what we wanted because it generated one, two, three, four, five segments. But as a point, we have one, two, three, four. That's why. That's why I I added extra start point and end point because without them you're gonna have only five segments and four elements. So just get this. So you get the start and end. That's probably what you want to get the copy here and here. And now we need to get one, two, one, two, three, four. So we need that less by one so you're gonna go and add uh let's what would call it uh, uh just a code block saying it's anything a minus a a minus one sorry and let's get this to it and then get that to the division so now we have exactly the fit, the beginning and the end and fourth segments that means three elements so one two three four five elements anywho so now we need a list because now we get a get three here one here and one here that doesn't make any sense so we need a list made of three inputs so that's the beginning that's the middle and that's the end as you can see now we have a better a better a better way to select all the point instead of that but if you zoom in you're gonna see a very crazy way to represent this because a list and then a first number and then another list and then another sub list three numbers for there uh, curve dot uh, divide equal divide equal at each segment and then uh, the third uh, curve dot end I know all of them combined in one place but the way they are organized is just just crazy so just 
go ahead and flatten that and just end it and you're gonna have a five points as you can see okay now it's nice and, and neat to just organize normally without the headache of having them in a different way of a sublisting here so now that's been done those are the points we simply need uh, something called uh, family instance by points and it's just going to define for us those you can actually place at each one of those points a family type a family uh, copy so if, if you just connect so actually you need to get this into the business so we really need to select it so that's uh, an easy way to do that and I'm gonna copy with control this guy select path and I'm gonna change the name into something else like select element and I'm gonna select the, the table and now if I connect this to that it's gonna give me a nice warning message telling me it's not working because that's it's actually need a type so you really need to go and tell it the element you get from the rivet give me the element uh, type of it no nothing okay type come on dynamo give me something okay so okay that's that's why too ease anyway nice when you misspell something it messed up your life so element dot type so no so I think again element dot element type that's the one this one we don't need so just connect this and again I get the elements out of the rivet and give you the type of it so Dino we can generate it here along the path that's what we have done before that's the array along the path probably a different way I know but it's okay now we need to go ahead and start to create uh, the rotation and by that we need to define each one of those point what is the percentage of it according to the path and that's easy can be done by going that to zero which is the beginning of the curve to one to the end of the curve that's more meet one and then give it the number based on a number of x so x will be the amount of or actually the number that you get from the from the slider which is here five so if you open this guy you're gonna see that the beginning is zero, the end is one. That's what the zero and one means. And then the rest of the three points is one of the quarter and one of the half and one of three quarters out of those lines. So of the, out of this line. So we basically just define the the location as a point, but this time as a relative uh, percentage out of the curve. Now we need to create uh, a tangent line. At each point so I'm gonna go align by tangent so this guy is easy or easily gonna create for me if I connect it to the curve which is this guy so at each curve now it now it have a default value of a zero that's a defined a line on that zero position and I'm gonna connect this to this so I'm gonna define or draw lines for me along each one of them so basically gonna have a flatten before and then I'm going to connect that to the parameter so it draw for me a line at each one of those and as you can see nothing happened it's okay just I'm going to go to parameter and change this to L1 so again now the way it's been it's been defined as a, as a line a tangent line at each point that the user get so you can say five that's five and that's the position of those five points getting out of those uh, the curve itself so those to define the location actual actually to divide the line itself and this also to define the line itself but this is more like to define the position rather than the amount and the distribution of the objects now we have those tangency I, I'm gonna go again to go a uh, curve dot start and then a curve dot end and that will help me those lines that I just I just created 
So that's the start, that's the end. Those lines, I'm going to have the start and the end point, and by that I can define a vector. So I can go ahead and have a vector by two points. And yes, the start of the vector is the start of this point, and the end of the vectors. I have now five vectors, as you can see, which is based on those lines that we just created. Now, easy, we need to go uh, vector, and then we go angle, angle, the angle here with the vector. Now, what is the vector? This is the vector. And what's the other vector we need to compare with is the x axis. So the x axis, yep, here. So this guy should define for me the the actual the actual valley uh, or the actual angle defined by uh, the two vectors that we have now. Those, as you can see, has been defined now. All what we need is to get a family instance. And then we go set rotation. So those are the family that you generated, the copies, and this is the rotation angle. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's actually working, so it's defined for me. The, it's copy the object along the path, and this guy is actually setting the rotation to it. Now, let's flex, let's test this. Something is really not right here, so let's get rid of this. Now we need to flex this guy, so let's go three copies. Now it's working. Four copies, beautiful, see? Uh, five, and now it's, it's, it's just my old machine. I really need to throw it away, really. Just open the balcony, throw the laptop, everyone will be happy. Six, see? Now it's it's a kind of uh, it's kind of give us the, the the way that goes along along that path. We can just go ahead and and pick another path and see how it's you know interact with it. And as long as the complexity of the curve goes, and you can see my you might see that's the difference. It's look it can't really you know the 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 the, the, the fast rotation in the curve itself can can just just cause a distortion in it anyway. Uh, probably we need to refine that a couple of times, guys, I don't know. I'm not really feeling much happier by having those points. It should have like an exact zero in it, in here. And this guy should be also an exact 45 degree for some reason. Uh, I don't know why, if it's my curve has not been really drawn correctly as a half uh, circle. Or this guy needs to be refined. I don't know. It's, it's just the way that the flatten is work. But so far, so good for me. Anyway, uh, I wish that you find that uh, video useful. Try to flex it, and if you find any errors, or uh, if you find suggest something else to do that, the rotation. Just uh, please uh, help me with it. I will be happy to get any feedback from you. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day. And bye.